the Navy has a ship that never has to come back for gas because it just takes the water from the ocean, extracts the hydrogen atoms, and pushes it into a chamber for engine combustion, and they run on hydrogen. They don't run on gas anymore. Matter of fact, that's the wave of the new future. We have Rolls-Royce developed an airplane engine that runs on hydrogen, and all the cars, including all the EVs, are going to go in the garbage can. All cars are going to be hydrogen-based in the next 10 years. Mark my word. Astrophysicists communicate and send information out into space to connect with ET or talk to ET on the hydrogen frequency, the most abundant frequency in the universe. Now, when you look at the Great Pyramid, it's got these giant shafts on the sides that align with Orion, Aldebaran, Arcturus, and all these other star systems on specific time frames. And so what's happening is on specific alignments, they were transmitting on the hydrogen frequency. In my opinion, this is now my own hypothesis, updates to those star systems. Because why have those shafts pointing at star systems? Why have them have the capability of shooting hydrogen through those shafts? To me, it's a communications device, the same way we're using right now today in modern astrophysics. Grandfather paradox. And so if I go back and kill my grandfather, how was I born to go back in time? I solved that paradox by saying and hypothesizing that if I travel back in time, the reason why I can kill my grandfather and still have gone back to do it is because I'm now on an alternative timeline. If you go forward, you can stay on your same timeline. If you go backward, you shift into an alternate timeline. That's my personal hypothesis. Hardest job to get in the world, to know the codes to arm and disarm nuclear yeah. bombs. When these men start speaking, you have to pay attention to them. And when the guy who controls the codes to the nuke says that a UFO showed up in broad daylight, hacks in to the nukes, deactivates the launch codes. When these launch officers are coming and testifying for Congress and saying this, we need to listen to them. I don't know anything about aliens and stuff like this. I haven't really studied it. Learning all of this crazy stuff literally has changed my perception and trajectory of life because once you know, you have to do better. Transferring animals into a computer, which they did a monkey, 2045.com, look it up. So the monkey's in the computer, his mind is, but the body's dead. Then by 2010 or 2012, they were supposed to have been able to transfer a human consciousness into a robot. They've already done that. And United States as well. DARPA has a project called the Avatar Project. And an Avatar Project, they have a symbiotic link from a soldier underneath a mountain somewhere, like in a bunker, connected to a field robot. And it wow. controls it through a mind connection. If the robot is destroyed, of course, the soldier doesn't die. And the only thing that stopped us from transferring consciousness from one brain to another was data storage. Now we have that solved because Microsoft just came up with the first DNA hard drive. That hard drive could store over 433 petabytes of data. That's on one gram of DNA. It's a drop of DNA.